But drowning. Drained. No visible signs of trauma. Breathing seems normal. Heart rate? Should be fast, I think. You're awake. Let me see. Let me see. Thank goodness you're awake. Or I'll have to try my last ditch move. Emergency skills for junior patrollers. Lesson one. CPR! Ugh. Uh, never did it on any living person, though. <laughs> just, yeah. Sorry, sorry. You just woke up and here I am, chatting up a storm. <sighs> Are you alright? Do you feel any discomfort? You can call me Trisha, and she's Yang Yang. <laughs> we are in the gorgeous spirits. It's on the outskirts of Jinzhou, Huanglong. Your attire doesn't seem local. Are you a roving traveler from afar, or someone returning home? So, you don't know why you're here, where you're from, or who you are. Baisha didn't tell us you'd have these after-effects when you wake up. The wind has brought us a warning. The Atheric Sea is converging. It seems a new tacit field is taking shape. That means it's probably gonna get dangerous here soon. Gourds are out of service because of the Etheric Sea's influence. We can't send or receive messages for help now. We better hurry over to meet up with Baijiu at our gathering spot and get out of here. Guess you really can't recall a thing. But don't worry. If you got any questions, we can talk as we move. Yang Yang and I will give you the full scoop every little detail from the get-go. Rover, uh, can we call you that for now? Before you remember your true name? We shouldn't stay here. 
If you don't have other plans, how about leaving with us for now? Oh, that's great! Let's go together! Rover, I know you can't remember a thing, but there's one thing I'm 90%... No, 100% sure about you. You must be a Resonator, too. You've got a tacit mark on the back of your hand, and you have a gourd. This is proof you're a Resonator. Your gourd's design looks a bit different from the ones we use, though. Also, we have Resonators who can detect the formation of tacit fields nearby, like what Yang Yang just did. She can tell all kinds of information by reading the streams in the wind. That's her resonance ability. While it may seem all nice and quiet here now, but you never know when a tacit discord might pop up out of nowhere. Oh my, speak of the devil. Break. despite having forgotten everything? Wow. Watch me lead the charge next time. No one messes with my shout f uh -huh. I mean... What's wrong? Are you injured from the fight? This is the statue of Jue, the sentinel in Zhenzhou, in the shape of a long. There is one capital and six cities in Huanglong, with each city having its own sentinel. While they share some similarities in appearance, there are also differences. In Huanglong, most of the sentinels take the shape of a long. In other regions, they manifest in various forms. Sentinels are present where civilizations thrive. Huanglong stands out with the highest number of currently coexisting sentinels because of its long history and vast land. Records state the sentinels in Huanglong were once a single entity. Now they are each responsible for a part of Huanglong. Naturally, there are sentinels in other regions too, but fewer compared to Huanglong. You were standing face to face with our sentinel? One can hardly see our sentinel with their own eyes. Most people only get the chance during the appointment ceremonies. According to your description, you stood pretty close. Only the Sentinel's appointed Resonator is allowed in its proximity. For now, that person is the Magistrate of Zhenzhou. Whoa, darn! That must be an elite class! Chisya might be in danger. Rover, please. Strike from the shadows. The hour is upon us. Rover, watch out! The 
hounds come forth. Swift and resolute. Swift and resolute. Ha. The end has come. That was close. You fought so well. I didn't even get a chance to help, and Yang Yang just rushed over to protect you like a mu- <clears throat> Anyway, see? There's a resonance beacon over there. When you see a beacon, be sure to register and activate it. It's usually safe within a five meter radius of a beacon. It can protect you from danger sometimes. Rover, could he hand me your terminal for a minute? <sighs> Done. Its design and system version are different from ours. But your terminal still has the data transfer and other basic functions. We are almost at the gorgeous entrance. There will be a descent, but if your terminals go... Once you're out of the gorge, there's only a short walk to reach Jinjo. Jinjo is the safest place around here. The Resonance Nexus provides coverage for the whole city. Besides, we've got a protective barrier and strong fortifications. <laughs> right? Jinjo sits between the Deseret Highland and the Norfolk Barrens. It's a border city and a fortress. It's very crucial to the safety of Huanglong. Huh? We've agreed to meet up with Baijiu here. Where is she? This is the center of the Atheric Sea. A tacit field? When did it show up? It wasn't here when we just got here. But I didn't sense a hint of a tacit field's presence. So it appeared while we weren't looking? Like, in the blink of an eye? Or maybe the Etheric Sea can tell where we are. Could it be following us? The center of the Tacit Field. Isn't that Baija? Baija! Baija! We're too far away. Perhaps she can't hear us. Freshly formed tacit fields of a dormant period. During this time, it is relatively safe. My apologies. I should have said it is temporarily safe. The dormant period of a tacit field varies based on its formation time. Generally, the shorter the formation time, the longer the dormant period. However, with a longer dormant period, the tacit... The faster a tacit field forms, the longer its dormant period lasts. For now, this tacit field should be safe. Right. The glider can't carry us beyond the tacit field's range. Besides, Baija is there. We'll have to go down and see what is going on. Now it's time to use a glider module. Rover, let me help you activate it. Yeah! I 
Yeah, we're in a dormant tacit field, right? Why did you come here by yourself? Baisha, you know we... Huh? You are all right, it seems. Yeah, you were super energetic. Handled a super big TD. Way more spirited than me. I've been keeping an eye on his condition through the street. Baiji is just concerned about your condition. She must think we shouldn't be letting you move around that much, since you've just regained consciousness. Wow, would you look at that! This isn't the place for talking. Let's go. Strike from the shadows. Strange tacit discord is here too. It's the tacit discord's ability. Be careful. Let the winds roar. Are you all right? 
Wait, are you hurt? Oh, thank goodness. We could see that darn barrier, but couldn't lay a finger on it. I'm fine, too. I've never seen such a formidable tacit discord before, but Rover was able to completely defeat it. I didn't really do much. It was all thanks to you, Rover. That's strange. This place isn't known to be so dangerous. Anyway, come check this out! <sighs> lucky today my apologies we got a little carried away does reverberation or echo ring a bell to you rover everything in our world is made up of frequencies and every sound generates a reverberation those echoes are the lingering reverberations of tacit discords after they disintegrate we can absorb them into the data banks in our Pangu terminals. Oh, by Pangu terminal, she means the gourd-shaped device every resonator has, developed by researchers in Huanglong. But you see, it's not always we get to find these. Also, there's a limit to what your gourd can absorb. Absorption is only possible when your data bank's level is equal to or higher than the tacit discord's level. The terminal can then convert its reverberation into an echo for use in battle. My terminal issued a warning when I detected that tacit discord earlier. It should at least be an Overlord class. Rover, would you mind checking your data bank level? No need for that. Rover, why don't you just try absorbing it with your terminal? Oh, so it doesn't work. It won't take long before the reverberations disappear and the etheric sea vanishes. Once that happens, the resonance beacon signals will come back, 